Okay, not too sure how this is going to work out, but uh, this is first dry build of the block, gearbox and everything. It all came separately. Um, kept the front plate just to see how things are lining up. But one of the changes we're making is that front oil passage there. That's going to be tap front oil outlet. That'll feed up to the cylinder head because we're not using the standard head oil feed. <coughs> That'll be by external pipe. Um, the front is actually remains pretty standard. There's a cover plate. There's different plates and pulleys go on the front, but basically that's just driving cams and off the cam off the crankshaft. Hot, um, Evo water pump, no bypass. The main engineer, of course, is all on the head. Uh, as you see, 10 studs. These are <coughs> the long standard mini cylinder head uh, bolt stud, but uh, they're long to for the BMW head to fit on. They're not special, they're just the standard uh, studs. You fill in various holes as per pattern. These are standard water jacket holes, just slightly widened. You can see where these three studs actually fit in the standard mini hole. And then you start to fill in and re-drill all the other ones. You can see where I put uh, threaded blanks in and then, or even brass plugs. I'm not too sure whether these brass plugs are actually necessary because the head gasket covers them anyway and there's only uh, an oil area underneath. There's, there's no nothing under there now. Um, bought out to 1098 plus 100 special pistons um, and then just lightly skimmed across the top it's very 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 light skim nothing more than that um, so just to, as I say the block the short block came from one place <laughs> the gearbox which is the latest Rover style gearbox which I rebuilt that came from another Scrappy second-hand starter motor kit is going. New old stock uh, flywheel casing and the wok, which you'll see came with... Uh, oops, that doesn't fit. Well, no, because apparently that is a, a Metro um, arm for a cable clutch. So we've got to change that, but the, the, the wok and everything else is the same. Um, going to fit... It's, the obviously isn't drilled yet, but that's going to have the well, the only available breather that that we have. Mark will know all about breathers, but there we are. That's that's what's going on there. And that will feed into the induction system, into the uh, fuel injection system. Um, new parts, obviously, where we this will be the bracket for. I'm not too sure whether it's going to be the MPI style uh, coil pack or a Ford flat block, flat base, or I might even just go to coil packs in the head because I'm not. I'm going to use the standard distributor, but fit the BMW Hall effect sensors in that with a plate that's being modified, that's being machined at the moment. What it means is I don't have to go to the very expensive. Uh, stuff that goes with off the front of the crank and all the rest of it it goes into very expensive ECUs this means I can use the standard BMW ECU uh, and wiring which I've which I've obviously got um, the only we can go on the back the only other change on the back so we swing the engine around and don't drop it on the floor um, standard back plate the uh, cover the tappet cover plates um, the breather that was on here came with, I cut that off. Um, and that is going to be just the oil return from the head. There's an oil return comes out the front of the head, comes onto this, and that's just going to be an oil return. On the head itself, there are two dra oil drains that come down about here, sorry, that come down about here. And conveniently, on the tappet plate, there are two little flat plates, two little flat pressings. So they'll just return from the head straight into their drain down. That will be oil return. On the 1275s that don't have these, it, they use a special uh, machine piece and everything drains back through the old uh, fuel pump 
plate. So that's going to be a slightly tidier way. Um, and it just means I've got a very small pipe coming from the front of the head, which is about here, round to here. Because don't forget, when you look at the front of the block, there are two pulleys here and a pulley belt coming down through here. So you've got to, you haven't got a lot of space to feed your, uh, your oil pipe. Um, the other nice little thing is that um, on these studs, we use the standard A plus later uh, stud head, head, head